The Beast Loki didn't like Gaston because Gaston was like liking all of my Instagram pictures. Hey guys, it's Belle, back with another video. I'm so excited for today's video as I'm doing a really highly requested story time video of one of my most famous stories that most of you guys have probably already heard of. My last video is actually doing so well. It was my 10 top picks for my books that I picked out of my local library in the village and I'm just so excited for this video because it's my first story time video and I can't wait to tell you the story. I can definitely say it was very eventful so I'm just so excited to finally tell it to you guys. Also, I got a new lipstick. It's the one from Snow White's range. Um, she started off with the red and she kind of moved more towards the like brownie beigey colors, which I think is so cute. And this one is called um, Grumpy, I think. I think this one's grumpy, the other one was dozy, I don't remember. Um, but I love this lipstick, so I'll leave the link for that one down below. And yes, let's just get straight into the video. So as you guys all know, I live with my papa and he works really, really, really hard. But one day, especially, he got quite ill and he just had to sleep and rest for a bit. But I, so I had to do the deliveries for him. So obviously, I didn't know the route. So I had to call my Uber. Um, so I called the Uber on my Uber app. Waited a while and the Uber finally arrived at my doorstep. A bit weird, but I didn't want to judge him obviously, so I just got in the Uber anyway. It just kept getting weirder and weirder and I got really stressed out. Um, I don't even know, it was just weird and I hadn't experienced one like this before. Normally I'd go by horse and carriage, but that day, I just don't even know why. I just decided. it. And he kind of went really crazy and I ended up having to get out of the Uber and just walk for miles and miles and my feet were just, oh my gosh, they were so gone. Like what do you mean? Like they were so dead, um, but like my feet were just dead. So I just carried on walking and walking um, because that's all I could do at this point. And then I saw this big house, like something like right out of like a Shane Dawson, like conspiracy theory video, like a massive house. So I walked up to the door of the house and then it was just empty. Like it was weird, it was weird but it was really scary. Um, and I contemplated not going in, but then I was like, more story times. Um, so I went in anyway and I was kind of searching it and it looked really haunted. And I was like, this is something the psychic twins have visited and been like, this is haunted, like this is haunted. And I started to get really scared, but I just went in anyway because I don't know, I'm just courageous. I like that word, courageous. It's one of my favorite words, actually, courageous. I called to see if anyone was in there, but no one answered. It was a little bit weird. Basically, long story short, I met the beast and you'd all know him by now, obviously. But yeah, we met for the first time and at first, Let's just say we didn't get on too well. We kind of clashed a little bit. Got to know each other. He was so sweet. Get this video to 2,000 thumbs up and I'll do a boyfriend tag with the beast because we haven't really gotten around to doing that yet. Um, well, he's human now, but you know, I still call him the beast because that's like his nickname um, for me right now. But yeah, you know. Um, um, but I made so many friends in the house. There's Chip. Um, all the candles in the little cups and stuff. I feel really rude for like discriminating them as cups when they're not cups. They have names and they're like people, you know? That was rude of me. If you're watching this, I'm sorry. I, I know Chip will be watching this because he's like my biggest fan. Um, but I just carried on reading books. The library there was insane and it was just so crazy. And that was like the whole issue with like Gaston and stuff, which was really stressful. You know, like really stressful, like come on Gaston, please get over it. And then when he had like the fight with the beast on top of the castle, that's like a whole nother story time in itself. The beast Loki didn't like Gaston because Gaston was like liking all of my Instagram pictures and the beast was like step away, like step away. Like he was getting really stressed out because of that. But it was like understandable because it's like, excuse me Gaston, like I know you may be obsessed with me, but like like no and then when all the villagers came to the house and they were like with the big fire sticks and it was like step down honeys step down it's not fair like the beast is like lovely but like, you don't know him and it's like the whole issue with like my video that i did about like self-confidence and stuff with like just because of what he looks like you're judging him but like you don't know what he's like inside oh my gosh i forgot to tell you about the day when it snowed that was gorgeous i actually vlogged that day so that'll be on my vlog channel life is bell down below obviously all i wanted to tell y'all today was the one about the uber 
but then it ended up being a really short story and I ended up just like waffling so that didn't really work out I've got my tea here oh my god oh my god Chip I'm so sorry I didn't realize that was you oh my god I'm so sorry oh my god I'm so sorry <gasps> I accidentally drunk out of Chip oh my gosh <gasps> Ooh, sorry sorry please don't thumbs down the video I completely forgot to tell you basically Lumiere hit me up with a really cute candle stand and I just put this little deer on it because it reminded me of times from like the fields and the forests and stuff and it's so cute it's just like a white one um it's so cute I feel like I really want to do my own merch line but I don't know what to do because I feel like everything's been done like Snow White's done the lip glosses his Sleeping Beauty did all the bed sets like the duvets and stuff they were so cute they're like velvet they're so nice Cinderella did all the slippers Jasmine did all the rugs Ariel surprisingly came out with a range of tuna and they're now selling it in Tesco's and I legit buy that every week um yes I'm sorry I'm so rambling I feel like I should just stop rambling what's new oh my gosh I got two new books from the library they're sitting here with my little crown I didn't want to wear my crown because I don't know I feel like it doesn't go with my hairband but I've got the biggest announcement ever <laughs> I completely forgot to tell you basically I'm coming out with my own book and I'm so excited it's basically just a book of like a bunch of fairy tales and I'm just I'm so excited like that's like been my dream releasing a book and the fact that you guys actually want to like buy it I'm so like thankful like thank you so much like oh my gosh um, it's not been made yet or anything but all I can tell you is that the front cover is lit extra blue yellow and gold and it's so beautiful I'm having so much fun designing it with the team and yes it's gonna be coming out really really soon I hope you enjoyed this kind of chatty video that was a story time but turned into just me chatting because I really wanted to just catch up with you guys I really hope you did enjoy it if you did make sure to smash it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already and yeah see you in my next video bye guys oh my gosh there's a snapchat filter with little birdies around it. That's so goals. Oh my gosh. Hey guys. So today I did a really exciting video. I've wanted to do something like this for ages. And my last princess video went down pretty well. So I thought you guys may have wanted to see Belle again. So I brought Belle back in. I really wanted to do this as Belle is one of my favorite princesses. And I love the story of Belle. I just wanted to quickly disclaim that obviously this is like not the real story of Belle. Like at all. I assumed most of the people wouldn't know the real story, so just know like Belle doesn't have an Uber and Belle like this is not the real story of Belle, it's just a spoof. I watched Shelby Church's video and it inspired me to do this little twist on the story and like if Belle was like in the modern day and if she was like a YouTuber and stuff. So I just thought it'd be really fun to like see what Belle would be like if she was a YouTuber. So this obviously isn't the real story of Belle and I'm just obsessed with Belle. Like I still love Belle, like, I'm not gonna lie, Loki really still love Belle. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up to see Belle again. And yes, I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Oh baby, I love